Happy Monday, everyone. Diecast collectors, Hot Wheels collectors, or anyone else who is tuning in. Hello, everyone. This is CCET3 Drums again. And today, we've got a new Hot Wheels set. The Hot Wheels Vintage Racing Club. This is the first set. Um, they've already leaked a bunch of pictures of the second one. But this is the first release. Um, six cars in the set. Um, some of these silver series sets, which is which, what this one is also. It's the um, kind of middle ground between the you know mainline cars. Your basic mainline car, dollar nineteen or whatever it is, and then it would be these after that, and then after that you've got your premiums, full detail with the rubber tires, as well as the real riders. So these these sets are pretty cool. They're a little bit pricey. You do get feet full detail. Um, headlights, taillights, everything on these. Um, they are plastic wheels. And um, some of them are metal bases, actually. Not all of them, but... So these are about... I think they were like 319 maybe a little more or something a piece, which is a lot, but it is what it is. So I've got the five cars here to show you. I, there is a sixth which is a chase, which is that 67 Camaro. I did not see that one. I found this whole set in the store, but it had already been rummaged through, and all the chases were gone, of course. So I'm just happy I found all the other five cars here. So we'll take a look at these. <clears throat> all righty. So... Number one in the set here, 1954 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. So the card art is really cool on all of these sets. Um, forget the guy's name, Julian Coils or something like that is the guy that does the uh, artwork for Hot Wheels. Yeah, but the dude, dude knows knows how to design stuff looks awesome so this this casting started out in premium it had a few premium releases and then after that it showed started showing up in the main line the plastic base I really like this one. It's a nice clean version. Crisp, clean, white. And got the, uh, I don't know what kind of wheels the name of these wheels are. Uh, but yeah, they look great. White on white. Very clean model. I always like this casting, but yeah, this one looks great. <clears throat> Got my new turntable here, much quieter. It does turn slower than the other one, but that's okay. So yeah, this this is a great looking one. Number two in the set here is the 1955 Corvette. your art I do love all sorts of Corvette castings um, this one's okay I'm not a huge convertible fan most of the time but this it's a well done model so I would probably go to say that this might be my least favorite in this set not that there's anything wrong with it. It does look really good, nice and clean. A sky blue. It's 
got some uh, I can't remember the name of any of these wheels but it's got those guys on it nice brown interior yeah it looks good I won't won't complain about it Alrighty. Number three. The BMW 2002. Yeah. Again, big fan of this casting. <clears throat> Very well done. It's got those new wheels on it that have been showing up on in these Silver Series cars. You got your red, blue, and white deco like Beamers usually have. Yeah, I have to say that you are paying, what, three times as much for these cars as a basic mainline. But the clean and the quality of the paint and decos on these the tampos are so much better like these even look better than some of the premium cars like deco paint jobs and stuff it's just so much better and cleaner not as many smudges and crappy taillight jobs and stuff that you even see on premium sometimes. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good one. As always, I always like to pick this one up whenever I see it. That was number three. Number four. 1971 Lamborghini Miura SV. Now, I do like this car. I like the casting. I don't, I don't like how the rear wheels are larger than the front. This is 2024. We don't need to be doing that anymore, Hot Wheels. Uh, it looks good on some of the muscle cars, but... It just looks goofy on a lot of stuff. This casting came out as an ID, Hot Wheels ID model at first, and then moved its way over to mainline. No premium release yet, I don't think. Get your, got your nice, tail light detail it was hard to see on here but yeah it's I know I know a lot of people I've seen have not been a fan of this one mainly because of the wheel choice these are a new set of wheels I'm not sure what they're called the chase 67 Camaro actually has the same wheels but the one on the Camaro are black and they look way better this this particular wheel and with the chrome uh, it looks super cheap super cheapy like an off-brand hot wheels wheel and i know a lot of other people have said that too i mean it just depends on the color i guess like i said the camaro doesn't look bad but those it's a little on the cheapy side all right, number five in the set, and our final one, is the 1971 Porsche 911. I am a fan of this casting. It's not my favorite Porsche casting, but it's a good one. There have been a ton of releases of this exact casting lately. Um, the That Silver Series Porsche set that came out at the very beginning of the year. It had a uh, 
orange 71911 in it. Um, the new Exotic Envy 3 premium set. The Chase and one of the cars in that is a 71911. And then there was another one, I'm telling you. There was, they've just been releasing this casting a lot, which is cool, but there's just so many, there's so many cars out there to choose from. Like, you don't need to always keep using the same ones, but <clears throat> so yeah, that is the. That's five of the six cars of the Vintage Racing Club set from Hot Wheels. The first, first batch. There is a second batch coming. There we go. It's a good little set if you ask me. Just missing that 67 Camaro chase, like I said. But yeah, I found this whole set, well these five, at Meyer. I live in Ohio. I know not every part of the country has Myers, but they've been showing up at Myers around here and I've heard on the internet, they're coming out in 7-Elevens slash Speedways, but I have not seen any Hot Wheels sets in any Speedways around here yet, so we'll see, I guess. But uh, let me know where, if you guys have seen this set yet and where you found it, uh, feel free to comment, like and, like and subscribe if you wish. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, you all have a good rest of your week.